What's good YouTube, Chico Bob here, I'm bringing us a brand new video and before we get started with today's video, like always, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, it really does help me out, I really do appreciate everyone that does subscribe, so thank you guys so much for that. Uh, before we get started with today's video, uh, hit, let's set a like goal of 10 likes, you know, I've said that twice already, but uh, let's set a like goal of 10 likes, you know, guys have been killing it on the like button gang, so keep it up, I really do appreciate it, it just lets me know that you guys want to keep seeing more of these videos, so... Uh, we're going to throw it back to the comment section and see what challenges you guys want to see. So this one comes from Isoball on YouTube. He says you should do the NBA Players Challenge. Uh, so the rules are you get to have players that participate in the NBA 2K Players Challenge and try to win a championship. So basically what he's talking about is that the NBA hosted like a 2K tournament between like uh, 16 different NBA players, uh, which represented like their team. So uh, basically they had like a... Uh, you know, DeAndre Ayton, uh, Devin Booker, Andre Drummond, uh, Kevin Durant. They all picked, like, a team, and they all used them throughout the, you know, any team they wanted, actually, throughout the tournament. And whoever, moved, like, won moved on. And so, yeah. So, basically, I'm not going to be able to get everyone that played in the tournament on the, my team. I'm just going to be able to try to get as many players as possible on my team. So, I did a fantasy draft, so that way it's not like, you know, I chose the Knicks. I mean, the, not the Knicks, but the Nets, and already had KD, and I had to, him to work with. So, um, yeah, so we do fall down to the 23rd pick, which isn't great at all. Uh, but, you know, we can get a Bradley Beal, Jimmy Butler, Chris Middleton, Kemba, Rudy Gobert, Hassan Whiteside. Uh, let me look through this. Hassan Whiteside did play in the tournament, so we uh, technically could get him. Um, I don't see anyone else. Uh, Devin Booker played in the tournament. Uh, Zach Levine played in the tournament. Andre Drummond. So there are players. Montrez didn't play. So there are players here that we can work with uh, that did play in the tournament. I'm going to let my assistant GM do the drafting. You know, he's always been killing it with the drafting simulation. So hopefully he gets a good player here. He'll probably go with Bradley Beal, honestly. Like if I was an assistant GM, I'd probably not go with Bradley Beal. I'd go with um, Devin Booker just because he's young and he has trade. What? Okay, we went De'Aaron Fox and Shea. And Jared Allen, Jabari, Marquise, Chris. Okay, so we have a young talent roster. Uh, so we do have a lot of trade value on this team. That's actually fantastic. Oh, I just spit everywhere. My apologies. Uh, but we should be able to, you know, turn this team into a championship team with getting all those pieces. So I guess the piece that we want to go with first is KD. And, or, yeah, Donovan Mitchell's also here. He played in the tournament. So we could probably go that route too. Andre Drummond is probably the center we are going to get for this challenge just because uh, DeAndre Ayton is probably going to be really hard to trade for. So I'm going to steer away from there. Uh, Rui Hachimura, pro I'm going to uh, put him on my trading block or target list so we can find him because he did play in the tournament. Uh, Devin Booker is also going to be here. So I'm probably going to pick up Devin Booker instead of uh, Donovan Mitchell just because I feel like I won't have to give up as many trade pieces as possible. So yeah, that will save me a lot of trade uh or not trade pieces, but like a lot of picks and return. So I guess we'll keep it that way. Uh, I'm trying to find where my boy is at, uh, KD, but I can't find him anywhere. Okay, he is untouchable. That kind of sucks, but you know it is what it is, and we'll move forward from that. Uh, yeah. So I don't know where I want to go for. We can go for Trey Young, but he's untouchable also. Uh, yikes. Okay, so Donovan Mitchell. I guess I can put him on my target list. We'll come back to him eventually, but Andre Drummond, I'll put you on my target list. Uh, probably the best center out there. Let me pull it up just to make sure I know exactly what I'm talking about. I gotta stop doing this hand move. Also, like, I'm gonna be doing this to my hair a lot because my hair is whack right now because of all the barber shops being closed because of the coronavirus. So that's that kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is, and hopefully, it'll, uh, you know, get better. We could also trade for Harrison Barnes. I totally forgot he was here. Uh, Derek Jones Jr., DeMontis Sabonis, Montrez Harrell is actually. Did play in the tournament, so we could possibly pull a trade for that. Um, Montrez Harrell off our bench wouldn't be terrible, but uh, for right now, I think we have to go a star with uh, our uh, what was his name, Devin Booker. Sorry, I mean, plus with the Bulls. So sorry, Bulls fans. Uh, we are snatching one. This team would be nice. Jimmy Butler, Devin Booker, Al Horford. I mean, not nice, nice, but nice enough to get to the playoffs. So, uh, Devin Booker, I'll offer you a contract. Oh, we have, we have money, money. Okay. Um, so, I want to keep Shade to give him a trade piece. So, we'll give you De'Aaron Fox and this pick. You guys aren't interested. And a second. And another second. Come on. Come on. I'll give you two picks for my boy, Devin Booker. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys want another player? Shake Milton or whatever. De'Anthony Milton. Welcome. Wow. Come on. There we go. 
So we gave up two picks for him, I believe. I'm glad we got the Thunder because we actually have a lot of picks to work with because they have the Chris Paul trade and whatnot. So that is fantastic. Uh, next trade I want to do is to get uh, uh, Andre. Uh, let's go with Andre Drummond, I believe, because uh, we should have a lot of cap to work with, and I probably the best center that we can possibly pick up for the value that we have. So let's go to the Wizards and see if we can pick him up. Uh, oh, Warriors have Montrez and Donovan Mitchell. I could possibly make a trade Donovan Mitchell for Shea. I might go that route. Let's see, but let's get Don Drummond on the team. I don't know how I'm gonna make up money for that. Jabari. You guys want Jared Allen? Sure. Uh, we don't need Jared Allen, uh, so we'll move on from there. Rui Hachimura plays for the Bucks. I'm just going to get all the players that I actually want on the team right away. And, yeah, so we can theoretically just build around them. Uh, Davis Bertans, I'll give you that. And I'll give you guys a future first. Okay, uh, I'll give you guys a better player, sorry. Kevin Knox. Uh, let's do this. And I'll give you guys this pick. Sure, okay, we'll come back to that. You know, just stop being so stingy. I kind of want to go with Donovan Mitchell. I don't really get him on a lot of videos, but we can do I pull a Donovan Mitchell. I can go with a Sabonis trade for our power forward because our power forward is going to be lacking at the moment. So do we pull the trade? Sorry, I'm just looking off to the side. Uh, to, if for Donovan Mitchell, better than Shea for sure. Uh, will I have room with Shea? Uh, let's see. Give up Shea. And I'll give you guys Kevin Knox. And I'll give you guys a few picks, one or two. See if this can possibly be pulled off. I got it. I got Donovan Mitchell on the team. I'm not sure how the rotation is going to go with that. Uh, but right now, he's a shooting guard. I'm fine with that. We gave up. A, how many picks did we give up? That might have been a lot, but I'm fine with it. I, I gave Shea, Kevin Knox, one, two, three, four picks. Four first rounders, which is a lot for Donovan. Okay, so we're going to go to the Warriors again. And call up uh, Montrezl Harrell, making six million. Uh, we should be able to pull off a, a simple trade with this. Um, Sam Decker, I believe. Okay, you guys, we'll give you guys this pick. And I don't really know how many picks we uh, we have. Three left. So second. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to move. I mean, we'll probably still keep him, but let's go with someone that has more value, like Romeo Langford. You guys want Seco? Oh, I totally forgot I had Seco on the team. So we do get Montrezl for our bench piece, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, he's a starting small for or power forward at the moment. So, um, do we go propose a trade and do we find like a Zach Levine for a six man? Because Zach Levine off her bench wouldn't be terrible and I would be fine keeping him off her bench. Uh, he's not making, he's making like $16 million a year right now. Um, fantastic player for the Bulls at the moment. Uh, probably going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. for, Or he's going to get his jersey retired for sure. I'm not sure if he's going to be in the Hall of Fame at the moment. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. But I don't know at the moment. So we'll have to see in the future how he develops and performs. But I don't see him anywhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure his overall isn't this low. So I have to go scrolling down. Uh, but Donovan Mitchell. Oh, Zach Levine. Here we go. $19 million. Um, Okay, I can give you Bertans. You guys want Montrez. I don't want to do this trade. Come on, you guys have to... Okay, I could probably build a trade with him. Svi Mikhailuk is probably nothing. Okay, Andre Drummond, Paul Millsap, no. They want a center out of us. Um, and I can't do that yet. I can give you Yaka Pertle. And we can give you guys one or two picks for him. I'll be fine. With... Okay, so we got Zach Levine on the team. Uh, he, he can run... Okay, so running our rotation. Uh, Donovan Mitchell... He goes down to... Okay, he can run a point. Devin Booker can run our shooting guard. Uh, Zach Levine can run our backup. Our backup. That's what I wanted to run. Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, Zach Levine. There's no defense in this. Actually, Donovan Mitchell can play defense. So that's there's some defense there. Devin Booker can't play as well defense. Yeah, C+. Plus. Zach Levine, no defense at all. Uh, Montrez is good. Okay, so our starting five is looking nice. Um... I guess we can go with uh, Patrick Beverly. Let me find what team he plays for. Uh, player finder Beverly. Beverly. I didn't know you could. I mean, I think I mentioned in the previous video that you can just do this. Trade finder him. Austin Rivers. Sveed Mikhailuk. I guess we just need to match the money. Uh, let's do this trade. And uh, we will get Patrick Beverly for our bench. You know, he actually killed it in the tournament. I don't uh, He got to, like, the semifinals. And he, I mean, yeah, he killed it there. So, 
I guess we are moving forward, and maybe Harrison Barnes could be another trade piece, but he's making a lot of money. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. Uh, I told you, I, I don't recall, I didn't really watch this tournament that much. I did watch Devin Booker, uh, not Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton and uh, Patrick Beverly a little bit. Other than that, I did not watch it that much, so I don't really know how the matches went and who. I know Donovan, I mean, Devin Booker won, but that's all I really know about that. So Michael Porter Jr. is making $3 million. Um, can I make a trade with you? So Sam Decker, okay, and I'll give you a bunch of picks for him. Obviously, if you guys have seen these videos, you guys want Montrez. I'm thinking, there's no better center to get than Montrez Harrell, but I think we should get a quality small forward, and this is probably the trade we get. Uh, so I did that trade to get in uh, Michael Porter Jr. He will, okay, he can play our small forward, our power forward for us. Zach Levine coming off our bench, I like that. Patrick Beverly. Okay, so the team is moving forward. Um, we don't really have many picks to work with. I want to trade Aaron Gordon right here. Um, obviously, since we can't really get much out of it, you know, we're not going to be able to pick up every single player that played on the team or the, the tournament. So, no. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. I don't know why I stopped there. That was my mistake. Oh, this would be nice. Karis LeVert. We don't need a shooting guard, though, so I might I might have to steer away from that. I really like Will Barton coming off our bench, so that's a fantastic piece, I believe. He can be our starting lineup, too. That'd be fine. Um, the starting five isn't terrible. I like it a lot. Zach Levine being our sixth man is great. Patrick Beverly. Um, yeah, okay, so let's sign some few players before we get started, you know, before we get everything. Oh, is the lighting really bad? Uh, oof. I don't look good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Joakim Noah, welcome to the team. I'll sign you for one year. Camp Bazemore, whatever. You know, I don't really care. Kyle Corver, welcome to the team. Okay, so we still need a... I don't really see much. We can sub sub bonus, maybe. Derek Jones Jr., we can probably pick up. Uh, Jones. Uh, wait. Yeah. So, Derek Jones Jr., trade finder him. We can get him for Marquise Chris. I like that one already. You know, Marquise Chris, welcome. Uh, sorry you have to go, but we do get him. Derek Jones Jr., I'm just trying to feel it seem like uh, find people that don't have that much trade value like him. Uh, let's see Harrison Barnes. So what is Harrison Barnes trade value like? Um, Harrison Barnes trade finder him. Zach Levine. See the thing is he's making twenty four million dollars a year and I can't make a trade for him. Otherwise I'd give up a lot of assets and a lot of people that I just traded for. So uh, I guess we'll keep him on the roster for the moment. I mean not make a trade with him. Uh, Boogie. I guess we can make a trade for. So cousins. Um, I'm just looking to see what is available for us, and trade finder him. He's making 22 million. We can we probably have to do this Will Barton trade. That way we can actually have a player that has that you know is part of the tournament and you know fits the roster. So we'll bring a boogie on the team. I'll probably put him as a power forward, and yeah, Michael Porter Jr. going to a small forward isn't bad. So that's our starting five. Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, Michael Porter, Demarcus Cousins, Andre Drummond, Zach Levine, Patrick Beverly, Derek Jones. Joe Kim Noah. Okay, so looking at this, we have Harrison Barnes. Okay, so we got we can't get Trey Young because it's untouchable. Harrison Barnes too much money. Zach Levine, we have him on the team. DeAndre Ayton is untouchable. Andre Drummond well, I was on the team. Boogie's on the team. Son Whiteside did not want to trade for it just because we already had a center. Uh, Patrick Beverly is on the team. KD is untouchable. Uh, Derek Jones is on the team. Montrez was on the team. We had to trade him. Sabonis uh, probably untouchable. We can look for that. Devin Booker, Michael Porter, Michael Porter's on the team, Donovan Mitchell. So we basically have all of them. We don't have Rui Hachimura. So let's just check, you know, player finder Hachimura. See maybe if uh, he wants, you know, if there's anything available. And they just want a lot for him, and I don't want to do the trade. So Hachimura's off the table. Let's go with Sabonis. Uh, maybe he can bring us some value. Uh, trade finder him. Yeah, this is just... It won't happen just because they want he's worth it too much for them and he wasn't going to be traded anyways So Harold, I guess I guess we can just go back to seeing what Montrez Harold's trade value is worth and see if maybe we can make a trade with them I mean basically they just want this back. Uh, he's making six million. So I don't want Crusoe. Can I do this without uh, six million? giving him up Kent Bazemore and We'll give you guys a bunch of picks you guys want Michael Porter still? I don't want to give up Michael Porter. Do we have any player that has value? Uh, Derek Jones has to stay. Semi Ojale uh, instead of Kyle Corbin, maybe. Oh, okay. This is interesting because 
I have to do this one. This one just makes the most sense. We need Montrez to come off our bench. Uh, let, I guess we can find Derek Jones again. Maybe they just want to, uh, you know, give us a different offer for him. Uh, trade finder, Montrez, Michael Porter, Demarcus. I feel like I can make a trade for this. Okay, he's making one million. Uh, Joachim Noah. And we still have a lot of picks to give up. So if we give up three picks for him, it won't happen. But maybe we can get a Kyle Korver. If I flip Kyle Korver and Joachim Noah together, maybe get a better piece, uh, like a Quinn Cook, a Windu, Alex Line. That might actually put the trade through. So I'm going to do that trade for Alex Line. We do give up a pick. That's fine. Um, and then we'll go back to the player finder and go for Jones, you know, just so I can find what team he's on. And I'll make a trade for him. Uh, Derek Jones will give you Alex Len. And you guys want that pick? Welcome. Welcome, Derek Jones Jr. I pulled that off, and we got Derek Jones Jr. on the team. So we got Mike, uh, Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, Michael Porter Jr., Boogie, Andre Drummond, Zach Levine, Montrose Harold, Patrick Beverly, Derek Jones Jr., and Royce O'Neal. Uh, we just need to fill up the roster, and I think we are set for to move the team you know I don't really see much uh do we Vince Carter down here I believe he is so um let's get Bogut on the team for one year also you know he just he has a championship DNA in him and then Vince Carter see if we can get him in the championship so the roster is looking like this we don't have a backup power for Montrose can run that so I'm fine with that uh obviously I did not get every single one uh person I'm missing uh one two three four five six seven players so i mean i got as much as i could i, b I believe uh we could probably make you know a trade for here or there you know with devin booker but uh let's see what are we going with the system proficiency honestly lloyd uh, Don uh, billy donovan isn't a terrible coach actually does our set a greater grind fit it actually does so oh it actually doesn't fit that well okay uh let's see which seven seconds fits actually much better is there a coach out there that is seven seconds other than that uh i probably uh, Billy Donovan, sorry, we gotta pick a Mike Stoffer. You know, always the coach of the year uh, on my team. So let's get both of these guys. Uh, make sure our system proficiency fits us best. Uh, seven seconds, we'll run it with Mike Stoffer just because he has A plus everything. You know, uh, it is what it is. So I'm gonna simulate all the way to this end of the season. Hopefully, we can win a championship, and I'll see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the end of the season. We have one game left. We are 70 and 11 right now. Let's see if we can end up with the dub. We do end up with the dub. That's fantastic. Luca winning MVP like always. Zion rookie of the year. Ricky Rubio at six man. Quiet defensive. All these guys are always the same. Mike Stauffer coach of the year. Like I mentioned, ah, what a great guy. Uh, do we have anyone on the Thunder? Uh, second team, no. Third team, no. Defense, no. Oh, actually, we did have Andre Drummond. Tr 13 points, 14 rebounds. We'll round up. Shot 60% from the field. Actually, great from them. So that's great to see. We did break the first seed. How how much? By how much? 17 games. Ooh. We were 17 games on both sides. That's actually fantastic. Devin Booker led us. Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine, Boogie, Montrez, Michael Porter, Andre Drummond. Basically, everyone that I thought was going to do really well for our team did that. Um, there's just a lot of scoring throughout the team. Did Devin Booker almost... Oh, actually, he did not shoot that well. He usually averaged a 50-40-90 this year. Uh, you know, we almost had Donovan Mitchell 50, 40, 90. Zach Levine all embracing that six man. I'm surprised he didn't win six man of the year. Uh, Boogie doing really well. Uh, Montrez. So, yeah, I'm glad I traded for everyone that I did. You know, just flipping the, the players and trading them. So, we do, we're do. we the first seed. And we're going against um, Chris Middleton, DeAndre Ayton, Ricky Rubio. Oh, this, this team should be a, bl a blowout, you know. We won 71 games in the season, so we should be able to blow these guys out. This guy, this team has Joel Embiid. This team defensively is stacked with Draymond, Joel Embiid, Victor Oladipo, and Kyle Lowry. Oh, this team is nice defensively. I don't know offensively. Uh, yeah, offensively they suck, but they didn't hold us down that much either. So, oh, Victor Oladipo balled out. That's fine. Uh, we're going to Memphis Grizzlies who have Luca, Stephen Adams. They wanted to give us Stephen Adams and someone else, but I didn't make a trade with them. So, uh, it was Rui Hachimura. So hopefully we can beat them here, two two. We, I it went too fast. We got knocked out, boys. We lost by one point. I bet you if I simcast, we would have won that just because it is like that, and somehow we didn't win. Ah, boys, we lost. I thought this team would have won the championship. Luca does win a championship, going thirty-four, not ten and ten. 
what a great you know sometimes they just up his stats you know randomly but we did have a great season uh let's look at the player stats for the playoffs i thought we would win a championship going 71 and 11 you know devin booker donovan mitchell zach Levine. everyone played as well as they did in the regular season so i'm not sure why we didn't win a championship but it is what it is it's 2k you know what what can we do about that but if you guys do it did enjoy the video. I almost dropped my controller. Uh, leave a like, comment down below what you guys want to see next. I really do appreciate every the support of the video. You know, subscribe, like, whatever. So thank you guys so much for that, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.